For this problem, you should have, for this in here, is y minus x, that should be a negative 2. And when you square it, you get 4 times a negative 2 is negative 8. And then this is simply negative 4 divided by negative 2, which is a positive 2. And when you subtract x, you're subtracting a negative 2, which is really plus 2. So it should be negative 4. For this one, y minus x is going to be 3 minus 5, that's a negative 2. You square that to get 4, and multiply the 4 by the y, which is 3. So you get a 12, and out here, square the y, which is 3, squared is 9, times 5 is 45. And then at the back end, you got plus 3. answer should be 60. For this one, a plus c is negative 2 plus a negative 1, that's negative 3. And divide it by 3 to get a negative 1. Then over here, c minus a is a negative 1 minus a negative 2. So that's a positive 1. Squared is 1 and times b, which is 3, is simply a 3. So you end up with negative 1 plus 3. Answer is 2. Pick a number from 1 to 5. The winning number today is 2. If you have all of the work shown for all of the problems on your homework, then bring it up here. If not, you can turn it in late in the box in the back of the room. We have 15 out of 20 for homework, and that's going to be 75%. Here come the answers. We'll just go over the answers first, and then we'll answer questions after we get through answer 10. Number 1 should just be 1. Number 2 is 3 plus or minus the square root of 11. 3 is 1 plus or minus the square root of 2. 4 is 3 plus or minus the square root of 5. 5 is negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 13 over 2. 6 is negative 5 plus or minus i square root of 15 over 2 and notice this was one of those problems where there was a negative in the bottom we divided everything by a negative this still stayed the same 7 is 2 plus or minus square root of 26 over 2 remember you can't simplify this because you can't divide the square root of 26 by a 2 and get square root of 13 that's not legal well, this is just absolutely awful. Come on, Mr. Skinner. Yeah, 4 plus 24 is 28, so that does make a huge difference. In fact, I'll have to rework the rest of this real quick. So if I had a 28 in here, of course this is not the answer, but you would have a 2 plus or minus 2 square root of 7 over 2, which you could simplify to 1 plus or minus square root of 7. My fault. I added six and five. Eight is negative five plus or minus square root of seventeen over two. Nine is negative one plus or minus i square root of twenty three over four. If we move to the right on this stuff here, we're going to end up with zero equals negative four x squared minus 2x and then minus 6. So if we do the discriminant, that would be b squared, and I'll skip through a couple of steps. b squared would be 4 and then minus 4 times a is negative 4 and times c is 
uh, negative 6. So we would have 4 minus 16 times 6 is 96. So if we do this, we're going to end up with a negative 92, which is still possible. So if you go to the formula, you end up having a negative 92, just like it was here. Your B value is now negative. So you have, when it goes into the formula here, it would be a negative, negative 2. And then on the bottom, you would have 2 times a negative 4, so that would give you a negative 8. Um, and then from there, let's see, you would end up with a positive 2 plus or minus i square root of 92 over a negative 8. If you simplify this, it's square root of 4 and square root of 23, so you would end up with 2 plus or minus 2 square root of 23, and that's a 2i in there. And all of that would be over negative 8. So if you divide everything by negative 2, you get a negative 1 plus or minus. And remember, this is not going to change except for to drop the, uh, the 2. So you'd have an i square root of 23. And if I divide by negative 2 on the bottom, you get a positive 4. 10 is 1 or negative 1. On this one, it should just be i or negative i. I put down, I didn't write down the i for some strange reason. So the answer is officially i or negative i. That's the right answer. I just left off the i. If you have something like 0 plus or minus 4 over 2, it's still going to stay plus or minus 4 over 2, which is going to end up being a negative 2 or a positive 2. But if you have 2 plus or minus 0 over 2, you can drop the plus or minus if you have a 0 to the right of it. It'll just be 2 because whether you do 2 plus 0 or 2 minus 0, it's still going to be 2. So the answer for this one would be 1. All right, today's objective, it's the same thing. Still solve quadratic equations with real coefficients that have complex answers. Here's an example. Is this in the right form? No. What do I need to do first? You need to right here. Negative x squared will be the first number. All right. And then you'll have negative minus x. Minus x. And then bring your 2x over and make it a negative. It's and negative 2x, all right. Keep your negative 3 where it's at, and then move your positive 1 over and make it a negative 1 instead of equal to 0. That's right. Make sure you put everything on one side and put it in the right order. And then once you get everything on one side and it's in a, the right order, then what should you do next? Oh, Add or subtract like terms. How many x squares do we have in there? One. Just one. So all we do is write it. Negative x squared. What does this become? Negative 3x. Negative 3x. So it's minus 3x. And what about this? Minus 4. minus 4. Are there any questions about how we arrived at negative x squared minus 3x minus 4 equals 0? Nope. All right. Discriminant. What is the formula for the discriminant? B squared minus 4 times ac. Yes, b squared minus 4ac. B is what? Negative 3, we will square that, subtract 4 times, what is A? Negative 1. Negative 1, that comes from here. And C is negative 4, that comes from there. Of course, the B was from there. Negative 3 squared is 9. How many negative signs do we have to the right of negative 3 squared? Um, 3. 3, so the, the uh, operation should be what? Negative. Yep, it'll be minus and then 4 times 1 times 4 is 16. What is the discriminant? Negative 7. Negative 7. What does that mean? It's going to be um, complex. Complex, which means it has a what in it? A I. I. Yeah, or a negative square root. <laughs> Either one. Okay, on the next page we will use the negative 7 uh, 
for the discriminant under the square root sign and then a is negative 1 and c is negative 4. So let's put those things in here. The, uh, the b was negative 3, wasn't it? Okay, so that would be a negative negative 3 plus or minus the square root of the discriminant which was negative 7. All of that over 2 times a which is negative 1. So you have a positive 3 plus or minus i square root of 7 over a negative 2. What do I need to do? Divide by negative 1. Yeah, divide everything or, or multiply everything by a negative 1. So if I do that here, I get a negative 3. What about the next term, i to the square root of 7? It could be a negative i square root of 7. And on the bottom, when you multiply by negative 1, you have a 2. But remember what we said about this. Does it have to be there? No. No. So negative 3 plus or minus i square root of 7 over 2 is the final answer. On the practice problem, you should have negative x squared plus 3x and then plus 2x plus 6 plus 3 equals 0. And when you simplify that, you will come up with negative x squared plus 5x plus 9 equals 0. How many had that? That much of it. All right, so you're still on track. Now for the discriminant, it'll be 5 squared minus 4 times negative 1 times 9. That's 25 plus, because you have a double negative, 25 plus 36 is going to be 61. That means it will be a real answer. So on the next page, we will use uh, the discriminant of 61, the A value of negative 1, B value of 5. Alright, so when we have the B value in the formula, it becomes negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 61 over 2 times A. That's negative 1. So negative 5 plus or minus, and can we simplify the square root of 61? No. And on the bottom we have a negative 2. What do I need to do now? Divide everything by negative 1, so it becomes positive 5 plus or minus. Do I need to put a negative sign next? No. Square root of 61, and over what? 2. Two. That is the answer. The answer to this bonus is 55. The answer to this bonus is 40. On the practice problem, you should have negative 2x squared minus x plus 7, if you put it in order. And then for the discriminant, negative 1 squared minus 4 times negative 2 times 7 will be 1 plus 56. How many had 57 for the discriminant? All right, we're doing good. For the quadratic formula, a negative b is now negative negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 57 over uh, 2 times a negative 2. So simplify to get 1 plus or minus the square root of 57 over negative 4. Can I simplify the square root of 57? No. What do I need to do now? Divide by negative 1. So here, if I do that, I get a negative 1. 
plus or minus, and what do I put next? Square root of 57. Square root of 57, because the sign won't matter due to the plus or minus. And then on the bottom, we just get a 4. This is it. The answer on this bonus is 5. The coordinates of the endpoints of segment CD in the standard coordinate plane are negative 4, negative 2, and 14 and 2. What is the x coordinate of the midpoint of segment CD? If you remember the formula for the midpoint, it's this. When you have two points, it is x1 plus x2 <coughs> divided by 2, and then the other one for the y is y1 plus y2 over 2. So you just need the x coordinate. You don't even have to do the whole thing. So if you add negative 4 and 14, you get what? You get 10, but I have to divide it by 2 to get... Five. Okay. Answer is C. What is the surface area in square inches of an 8 inch cube? Here's a cube, poorly drawn right off the bat, but we'll finish it off. And if we have one edge that is 8, that means it's 8 all the way around. So if, how many faces are on a cube? Six. So the, the formula for the surface area of a cube is 6s squared, s for side. So 6 times 8 squared, 6 times 64 would be how much? It would be G384. If you know that if you multiply a 4 by a 6, even if they're just the ending numbers of multi-digit numbers, 6 times 4 is 24, the last number has to be 4. So that eliminates every other choice all the way through there. You could even do it without a calculator.